Week 13, Problem 5. An electron has kinetic energy of 6 electron volts. Find its wavelength. A photon has energy of 6 electron volts. Find its wavelength. All right. So this goes to, I think, the Broglie wavelength. The idea is um, everything in life has um, is both a wave and matter. It's just that when you're talking about things that are big, it doesn't matter. So electrons is about the biggest thing you can have that really has like a wavelength, so to speak, that matters in life. Um, I guess they've measured it up to bigger things. Um, yeah, just everything has a wavelength. So lambda equals h over p. Zoom in. Lambda equals h over p. And the idea here is um, I don't understand the details of why it exists in life. I don't think anyone actually does. There's like a billion theories, and no one actually, um, there's no real consistency, not consistency, uh, consensus on why this phenomenon exists. So it's things are both waves and particles. Those are a real boon for the science fiction industry. So, all right. So this is the uh, equation. So we have Planck's constant over momentum, but they gave us energy. So, I guess we were supposed to do it in meters. So I'm going to convert. First, I'm going to do is I'm going to take six electron volts, and I'm going to change that over to joules. So a matter wave. Ooh, that's such, so cool. Is a central part of quantum mechanics, wave particle duality. Nice. All right. So go back to electron volt. What if I just do EV? 1.6 times to the negative 19th. Uh, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per electron volt. So let's do 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th times 6 times 6 times 6. We have 9. 9.6 times, I can't have probably done that in my head. All right, equals 9.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Hmm, that makes sense, because 3 times 16 is like 48. Yeah, yeah, that seems, that seems reasonable. Uh, joules, okay, 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 we got that. So, we also probably need Planck's constant. Planck's constant, Planck constant. All right, and H is, I should have done it in electron volts. Should have done it in electron volts. All right, so I'm gonna do in joules though, 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th. H equals 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th. We got that. So now we have P for momentum, right? P, momentum, I think it's momentum. Momentum, all right. So they gave us, we have energy. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use energy equals one half mv squared. Multiply that by m. Divide that by m. And say that this is mass times velocity squared over 2m, which equals p squared over 2m. Re rearranging life, I have 2 times mass times energy. Square rooted equals p. So I'm going to say that P equals 2. God, I need to find the mass of an electron. Electron. It's like something, something, something. Mass. 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st. Times 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st. Write this up here, mass electron, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st. There we go. Times energy, which is also really small, 9.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. And then we'll square root the whole thing. So we'll have, ooh, click on that. Get rid of most of these zeros. All right, so that was the energy times 
times 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st times 2, and we'll square root the whole thing, square root of 9.6 times the negative 19th, 9.1 times 2, yep, and that gives us a momentum of 1.3 times 10 to the negative 24th equals, do this again, 1.3. 1 1.3 1 times 10 times 10 to the negative 24th. And what is momentum? It's probably like kilograms, meters per second. Doesn't matter. All right, so now we've got this number. We have that number. And we need to divide one by the other. So 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th over 1.3 times 10 to the negative 24th. So I'm just going to click on this guy, and I'm going to do 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34 divided by this answer right here. 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th divided by 1.3 times 10 to the negative 34, 24th, and that gives us, I'm going to say 5, 5 times 10 to the negative 10th. equals 5 times 10 to the negative 10th meters, which I think is like 5 angstrom. There's a, uh, I know this doesn't matter to you guys. You don't care. I'm still going to look it up because at this point I am curious. Angstrom. I think angstrom is just like a tenth of a nanometer. So, yep. So, I don't know why they made a whole extra unit for that. All right. So an electron has kinetic energy this, find its wavelength. There might have been an easier way to do that, but that's the way I can always remember. Um, you, know, you can memorize, you'll be given the formula for the, uh, the Broglie wavelength, which is basically the wavelength that everything has in life. You know, there's like baseballs, footballs, cars, everything has that wavelength. It's just pretty much inconsequential for, inconsequential for most things in life. All right, a photon. All right, so photon, then we're going to go back to E equals HF, which equals HC over lambda, which therefore lambda equals HC, which is uh, Planck's constant times speed of light divided by energy, which is, what? I don't have to write so small. There we go. 1240 electron volt nanometers. I just have that memorized. Divide by six electron volts. I can do this in my head. I can totally do this. All right. So this is so 1200. That's going to be divided by six is going to be 200, and then 40 divided by six is 6.6, 6, like six and two thirds, because six times seven is 42. So yeah, nanometers. So I'm going to do 207. Ah, so it's 207 nanometers times 10 to the negative ninth times 10 to the oh times one nanometer there we go cancel cancel this is like 10 squared 10 to 7 so 2.07 times 10 to the negative seventh i don't have this there we go 2.07 times 10 to the negative seventh meters yeah, i'm good at that all right, so that's how you do this one. So the idea here is matter, photons, finding wavelengths. Okay, on to problem six.